guys, this is the second video in my series called Beauty Sins of My Past. This video is about eyebrows. I used to over pluck my eyebrows so bad. I first tried plucking my eyebrows, I think I was in the 10th grade. I specifically remember my older cousin came over to see my brother. He knocked on my bedroom door to say hi and I opened the door and he said, Whoa, someone discovered tweezers. I should have taken that hint at that time, but I didn't. If I look at pictures of myself over the years, my eyebrows are constantly changing shape. At some points, I had like half an eyebrow. I didn't even have a tail on my eyebrow. It would just be like, just this little tiny portion here. At times they were very, very thin, like very skinny. So I would get that question mark shape eyebrow. I really regret beginning to pluck my eyebrows because I had a pretty decent shape to my eyebrow to begin with and now this eyebrow is pretty good but this one is all wonky because the hair never grew back completely. I do fill my eyebrows in but this one I have to be really careful because see how this sh one is shaped more just straight across. I have to put whatever I'm filling my eyebrows in with on the skin to make them match up and I often notice that in videos this eyebrow looks different than this one. I do say eyebrows are sisters not twins but I really wish that this eyebrow would look more like this one. It's a real pain in the ass because this eyebrow takes no time to fill in this one takes a lot longer. Not everybody fills in their eyebrows but I really enjoy doing it. It makes them look a lot fuller and I consider eyebrows like a frame for my face. You wouldn't take like a portrait that was painted for you and just slap it on the wall with no frame around it. So that's kind of what I think of eyebrows as. I wouldn't even fill in my eyebrows before. I would put on a full face of makeup and then not even touch my eyebrows. Your eyebrow is supposed to begin, like if you have a narrow nose, it should begin beside the outer edge of your nostril. And if you have a wider nose, if you want to make it look thinner, you should bring your eyebrow into like the inner part here of your nose. So I bring mine here. But when I began filling in my eyebrows, they were literally starting here. I had this huge space in between my eyebrows. It just looked really strange. And then it's supposed to go from the outer corner to right here. Used a eyebrow kit with stencils for a while to get just the basic shape. Luckily, the tails of my eyebrows did grow back in. I used to, th there was no tail to my eyebrow for a while, but it did grow back in. But just this little part here on my arch will not grow back in. So I really regret that. I regret plucking my eyebrows. I regret ever touching my eyebrows. All the only hairs I will pluck are the ones like if they're growing right down like into my eyelid, I'll pluck those ones out, but I do not touch anything within my eyebrow itself. When I look at older pictures of myself before I started paying attention to my eyebrows and not plucking them so much and actually filling them in, it just looks odd to me. Overall look is just not finished. I look tired -er, and it also doesn't look as youthful. Here's how I look without filling in my eyebrows. So I have on a full face of makeup and haven't touched my eyebrows. And this is what I used to do. I have not touched my eyebrows, like the general structure of my eyebrows with any kind of hair removal in a couple years at least. And this is still how they look. The hairs never grew back. So big time regret ever touching my eyebrows. It just looks odd. I look almost alien without eyebrows. Shortly after I filmed the first part of this video, I began to notice in my videos that doing my eyebrows freehand, they were getting bigger and bigger and bigger and kind of taking on a life of their own. They're verging dangerously into borderline Rocho Marx, Eugene Levy zone. The opposite spectrum of the overplucked eyebrows, of course, is the overfilled in eyebrows. Nobody pointed it out to me, but I just kind of I noticed it. Life is full of continuous learning moments. I was looking at old videos. I used to use the stencils for my eyebrows and I kind of like that look a little bit better. So starting today I started using my stencil again. So I used to use this solely. This and the brow powder. But now I'm just kind of using it as a guide and I quickly fill it in with the brow powder just as a guideline and then I go in with my dip brow pomade and do the rest of the brow. It's a lot quicker with the stencil. I like the shape of the inner part better when I use the stencil because I was getting like really big up in here. Fine line between creating a frame for your face and overpowering your face. If you like to pluck your eyebrows super thin and it's working for you, just keep doing that. This is not to shame anybody. It's just to say what's worked for me and what hasn't worked for me. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll see you next time.